Hi everyone, in this video we'll be going through how to use one of these power supplies, these brick power supplies, to get it to actually power the breadboard. This is all you need for this. So I personally prefer to use these power supply modules with the breadboard. Literally they just clip in like so. And then what you could do is you could actually just use the power supply and plug, and plug it into there, right? And that would then power the provide power to the breadboard. But let's say you didn't want to buy one of these, right? Or for whatever reason you did one, you bought one and you broke it or whatever. If you wanted to just use this direct, as in plug this into the power supply or into the wall socket and then power the breadboard, how do you go about doing that? So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So it's literally fairly straightforward. So here I've got a 12 volt, 2000 milliamp AC DC adapter. So I just take this this end here and literally really simply I would advise we're just going to cut it I'd say cut it a bit further away from the end so that you've got a bit of room to resolder it back on if you want at a later time but yeah literally just cut that right you just get so this one is 18 gauge there you go, and there you go, cool. So what would be ideal now, which I'm not going to show you in this video, but ideally it would make sense to, to twist these, right, like so, and then add some solder onto it. If you added some solder, it'd stop it from obviously coming apart. And then you literally just plug it into your positive and negative. So it doesn't actually matter which way you plug it in. It doesn't actually matter which one you plug it into. The reason being is because you can just test it afterwards to see whether you've plugged it into positive or negative. So you plug those in. I'd advise plugging them a bit away from each other just as you can see where it's stranded you don't want them touching and you just plug your power supply into the wall socket and then you have power yeah let's let me actually show you although okay let's quickly build a okay that's no, fine what i'll do is i'll show you it plugged in and it will blow up an led as well why not so we plug it in Alright, so let's um let's run let's run a test to see if it works. So I've got an LED here and I've got a, a 330 ohm resistor here. So let's let's assume that I've plugged it in the right way around. We'll go positive, stick the resistor in positive. Let's bring it a bit closer. Stick the resistor into positive and then into any one of these um rows, right? And we'll flatten that resistor down. So we've got a resistor in there. And then let's go positive to negative. Okay, nothing. So this means that either the power supply is not working right, or this is the wrong way around. The power supply should be working, so I'm going to assume this is the wrong way around. So let's take out the LED again. So I'm guessing that... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. So we'll just test it. So we'll change this back to so positive is negative and negative is positive, positive in terms of the way that I've plugged it in. So plug that back in now. And then this same one here, but this time over here. And there you go. Uh, if I can get it in. Yeah, did it. So turns out that I've actually plugged these in the wrong way around. But that's cool. There you go. So you can see that you've got a 12 volt power supply powering this LED with the resistor. Actually, what I will do is I'll just cut. Let's do. I'll do it now. Let's do it now. So this is the ground, right? So we unplug that. So we've got our ground on here. Just need to remember to actually unplug the power supply. So this is my ground cable. So 
I have to do is just come up here and I'll just cut it shorter. And then now, if you look at my cable, now I know that this is positive, this is negative. There you go. Cool. That's everything done. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.